In this module, we will look at the differences between RNA and DNA. We will also look at some of the chemical properties of these molecules. First of all, let us look at the differences. As I have mentioned before, RNA has ribose sugar and it has uracil. However, DNA has deoxyribose and thymine instead of uracil. Now, let us look at some of the chemical properties of these molecules. As I have mentioned in previous module that these molecules are polymers which are held together by phosphodiester bond. The important aspect of the polymer is that two ends of this polymer are different. One end is called the three prime end and the other one is called the five prime end. They have different properties and I will highlight those. Here for example, we have an RNA molecule. It has three prime end over here because the three prime end basically means the carbon atom which has a free hydroxyl group. Here we have the five prime end in this RNA molecule. This carbon here is the five prime carbon. It is attached to a phosphate group. So this difference in two ends of this nucleic acid are important because when this polymer is elongating or new monomers are being added to this polymer, they always add on the five prime end and not at the three prime end. Also, you will notice that these two ends, they are different in this RNA molecule here. And if we draw a line between five prime end and three prime end and put an arrow on it, we basically get some sort of polarity in this molecule. It is important to note this here because when we go to DNA, DNA is not single stranded. It has two strands. RNA is single stranded, which we have seen here. The two DNA strands run anti parallel. What do I mean by that? If one strand is in direction, 5 prime to 3 prime direction, the other one will be 3 prime to 5 prime direction. So these in DNA, we have two strands rather than one strand and they are running anti parallel. In RNA, we generally have a single strand. So these are two important aspects of these two molecules, important differences also. Now let us look at some other properties of these molecules. DNA and RNA, they contain information as a result of the sequence of those nucleotides. We talked about the nucleotides A, G, T and C or U in case of RNA. This information in DNA is present inside. It is not present on the outside. Like in proteins, the three dimensional structure is important. DNA does not have a varying three dimensional structure. In fact, it is uniform. It has a uniform diameter. The information this molecule carries is the sequence of the nucleotides, not the three-dimensional shape as was the case in, in case of proteins. So, now we have a dilemma that we know that DNA is the genetic, carries the genetic information. However, we cannot use this genetic information without proteins and DNA cannot replicate without proteins. We will talk about this process in more detail when we talk about DNA replication. But the dilemma here is what came first in evolution? If the DNA came first, it would not be able to replicate itself or it will not be able to, uh, it will not be able to do any, any functional work without the presence of proteins. Proteins, on the other hand, need something to code for them and DNA codes for proteins. So what came first? What we are talking about is that we need two types of activities in order to sustain a system, a living system, genetic information and enzymatic activity. There is another molecule that can, that can perform both these functions. That molecule is the RNA molecule. RNA molecule, as we saw, is a single-stranded entity. It can fold on itself and it can form complex three-dimensional structures. Also, it is made up of nucleotide polymers. Nucleotides, it's a polymer of nucleotides. So it can code genetic information and has enzymatic activity. The next question becomes that if RNA is 
such a marvelous molecule it can have both these activities coding for information genetic information and enzymatic activity why don't higher organisms have rna as genetic material rather than dna the answer is the hydroxyl group additional hydroxyl group in rna pentose makes it more prone to degradation dna is relatively more stable than rna that is why dna was the preferred choice during the course of evolution as a molecule which would carry predatory information